Hey Skeeters, I'm Juliana Mixon. And I'm Timothy Menz. With your Skeeter Bite News. MHS has a room devoted to college readiness now. Nuvia George Giovanni met with Miss Gloria for the details on it. MHS provided the college readiness room to help students have more access to college information. You can find it in A-Hall near all the college flags. We talked to Miss Gloria about the purpose of the readiness room. So the purpose of the college readiness room is for all students, seniors and juniors to come in to work on college applications if they need help registering for SAT or ACT, also if they want to look for scholarships or work on the financial aid application that they need for college. Um, we're also, uh, the room is also available if they just want to talk about like what the college experience is like. Um, like what are like what majors they are to uh, to study like if they're not sure what they want to study they could always come uh, to A1 to the college readiness room to study um, and to talk about like what options there are for each student. We also try to help out students if they're on free reduced lunch we help them out with the fee waivers, uh, fill out fill out the college applications, uh, register for the SAT, ACT if they want to take it uh, one or, or two times. Um, we also uh, provide assistance with uh, applying for FAFSA or TASFA which is the financial aid for each student that they have to apply for uh, to get fundings um, from the government to pay for college. College readiness room is available through much of the day for students to visit. Usually the best time to come by is either during their first, second, or fourth period. That's where we can have more access to the students. They can come to us, ask questions about like college, like if they want to sign up, they can let us know. If I have students who are like, oh, I'm not sure if I qualify for this, I try to help them out as much as I can. Um, so I really hope that um, I really see all my students going to college. Would it be like two years or four years or even if they decide to go into military branch or just straight into the workforce? I, feel, I, f I see a future for all those students excelling. The readiness room is full of resources, however you may have to bring a few items depending on what your need is with the visit. Uh, everything like college applications, you require like uh, transcripts, you have to send your transcripts and your SAT scores uh, once you submit an application for financial aid, the FAFSA or TASFA, um, they require like the parents income, um, so it depends on what they want to start working on. So remember. This is available here at MHS if you want to stop by. I'm sure you noticed the new Skeeter Auditorium this year. We caught up with Mr. McCoy on the details. The auditorium was built in 1967, uh, is the first year it opened. Uh, it was remodeled in 1985. That's the year that they took the seat, the original seats out and put in all new seats. And then late 1999, 2000, somewhere in there, they replaced all the curtains. Don't bring your drinks in, don't bring your food in, and please, if you can, spit the gum out. Don't bring that in either. We were so far behind um, in stage technology. Uh, we needed to move into the new technology and staging. It just feels better in here. It's much brighter in here. I took a picture of the auditorium uh, right before they started the remodel and a picture right after, and the difference is, is clear. You can see in the auditorium now. Before it was very dingy and dark and had a very old feel to it. And now it's uh, a lot brighter and feels a lot newer. New carpet, new seating, the lighting system, the whole new sound system, all of the curtains and uh, draperies in the auditorium. An MHS senior was recognized by the Mesquite Rotary Club last week after Officer Chad Parks nominated him for his excellent work ethic in the classroom and on the basketball court. Officer Parks, Chief Cato, and AP Jeff Johnson presented the award. Last year, three MHS students won a competition through Medical City and had their menu item featured at all of Christina's fine Mexican restaurants in DFW. This year, two students were chosen to have their menu items featured by Village Burger Bar. The MHS Choir performed with Texas A&M Comets Choirs last week in Comets. The Skeeter Battalion has made the U.S. Army national news for participating and volunteering at the Buckner Center for Humanitarian Aid. You can see the details on the website. Oh. The freshman girls basketball team won the Forney Invitational. They are off to a hot 7-2 start. The Varsity later ske Lady Skeeters <laughs> equaled their last year's win total of 7 in their first 12 games. They are coming off a dramatic 31-30 win over the Denton Broncos. The first district game will be Monday, December 16th against Horn High School at Horn, and they would love everyone to pack the gym. Just a 10-minute drive from MHS. 
Friday, December 20th against Rockwell Heath High School at MHS will be their first home district game and they would love your support before the break. The boys' junior varsity basketball team played in a tournament at West Mesquite High School Thursday through Saturday, and the varsity played in a tournament at Jesuit High School last week. The MHS tennis team hosted its MHS tournament last week as well. We checked on some of the players during the competition. We're playing against North Garland. Um, North Mesquite and West. For practice, lately we've been doing a lot of conditioning, like running, and uh, right before we always hit with our partners and who we're going to be playing with. Come out, we stretch, run a little bit, and hit, and get better at our forehands and backhands. We'll stretch before uh, practice, and then we'll like hit one on ones and uh, uh, do a bunch of drills. I plug my headphones in and just think about my game, think about my strategies that I'm going to play, and just rehearse plays with my partner. Before a game or a match, we always um, have this chant that we do as uh, we are maroon, and it really gets us hyped up for the game. My main goal in tennis is just to give better and just to win for my team. Winning will really bring our team together. It's like a bonding experience. You win together, you lose together. Really, at this point, would just boost our confidence a lot and give us a better re reputation for the upcoming season. Uh, we're playing against North Garland, North Mesquite, and West Mesquite. My main goal in tennis, I would say, would be to have fun and to enjoy what I do while I get to do it. It'll de definitely give us a boost of confidence and it'll be a good start into going into our spring season. Uh, it'll help us out a lot by encouraging others to push so they can get better. We'll stretch before uh, practice and then we'll like hit one-on-ones and uh, uh, do a bunch of drills. Uh, we always have a chant that we do and we celebrate all the time during our points just to keep everybody's confidence up. Uh, we do drills together and we practice hitting against each other just to encourage each other to hit harder. We condition, we drill, we hit. It uh, just depends on what our coach wants us to do. I'm playing against North, West, and North Garland. So spending time with the friends that I've made and getting better at the sport that I like to play. It'll maybe push us further uh, to achieve winning. I think we're going to do really well. I think MHS is going to dominate and we're going to come home with a lot of trophies. I expect us to bring home a bunch of trophies. Star testing is taking place through Thursday this week. All days there is some testing in the library and ILS rooms. On Tuesday and Thursday, the portables will have some testing too. Classes in portables 1 through 9 will be relocated Tuesday and Thursday. For the final exam schedule on Thursday and Friday next week, we will have lunch as part of third period. It will be a sack lunch that you'll take back to class to eat. So first and fifth periods will end at 9.55, second and sixth will end at 11.10, 3rd and 7th will end at 1.15. Will you be taking the exams? To be exempt, you have to have a passing semester average in the class with no absences. Or, you may have one absence in that class if your semester average is an 85 or higher. The following codes do not count against exemptions. Tardy, field trip, testing, college visit, etc. The, but the following codes do count against exemptions. Partial absence, unexcused absence, excused absence. 
If you have a C or lower for three or more citizenship grades throughout the semester, you won't be exempt in any of your classes. Same for students who've been assigned to ISS, ISIP, suspension, or the Learning Center. All students are required to be here Thursday and Friday as well as during fourth period Wednesday, even if you're exempt. If you are interested in trying out for the girls or boys track teams for the 2020 season, please attend the interest meeting Thursday after school at 4.15 in the library. This meeting is only for those students who are not currently in athletics. The Student Council will be hosting a movie night in the cafeteria this Friday, December 13th. Admission will be free for all MHS students and concessions will be sold. All proceeds will be benefiting the Santa Cop program. The Dynamic Storm Step Team will be taking it to the stage with the Steppers of Poteet Step Team this Saturday for the Garland High School Step Competition, the first competition for the season. It's called Who Runs the Yard, and they'll be performing sometime between 2.30 and 7.30. Pre-sale tickets are $10. You can get them at the website TurnerSigmaSepTeam.com. It will cost $15 at the door. They'll follow that with a performance this same weekend at Fair Park Sunday, December 15th. Coach Hubbard has tickets at no cost. It'll be part of Kwanzaa Fest 2019 in the Automobile Building from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Exact performance times for the storm aren't yet determined. You can pick up tickets in C6 or from Mr. Lacey. With the holidays here, we wanted to catch some skeeters in the scene and see what they liked about the holidays. I like hanging out with my mom, dad, grandma, grandpa. We go watch a couple movies every now and then. I like to eat, sleep, spend money. I like to be with my family and my friends. I like to eat, sleep, play games, and chill with my friends. Uh, for Thanksgiving, me and my family all get together. It's just my immediate family, though, um, which is still six people. Um, and each of us make a little dish for the Thanksgiving. And my dad spends all day frying a turkey outside in our backyard. It's awesome. Eat and chill. Eat food as you watch my game. Work. Eat food. What kind of food do you eat? Very nice. food. What I like to do for the holidays is really just really spend time with my family. Eat. <laughs> I like to eat. Eat food, some real good chill on music. We're gonna go back to that one. Eat food and just have fun with my family. Yes. Thank you. That's the buzz around Skeeter Nation this week. For Skeeter Bright News, I'm Juliana Mixon. And I'm Jimmy Menz. We, we empower, empower, we impact, we love, we are Skeeter Nation. Nation.